is first up. And to give you the number they're going to fetch, it's 462. If you're looking at the top tight ends and receiving yards, that was the average. And he is just underneath it at 461. Okay. Well done. Charles, DJ, what's your evaluation, Jaheim Bell? Because when I watch him, I feel like he's that fullback, H-back type, not just a pure tight end. Yeah, I mean, they'll, they'll split him out. They'll give him tunnel screens out there. Um, he can make you miss in space. You know, with the body type, you're going to have to uh, move him. I mean, he's not going to be a hand-in-the-ground tight end, a wide tight end. That's not who he is. But he can, he can run up the seam a little bit as a wing. You can move him around. I mean, that's going to be his role. I think really on special teams is where he's going to try and make the team. Devin Culp of Washington, one of the aforementioned Huskies. The 447. Ooh. Nicely done. He doesn't have a ton of production, but I when I was watching, I have like wow contested catches and a big time burst in transition. When you see him catch the ball, get his foot in the ground, then you'll see him explode. So I thought he'd be fast. He's undersized, 231 pounds, another one of those guys you gotta kind of move around. But man, I I knew he would be quick and fast. I didn't think he would be that explosive. Dallin Holker of Colorado State. Another one that they'll use is that big slot. They'll put him outside. Tracks the ball really easy. Talk about plucking off the shoes that we saw earlier. He did it against Colorado in that game for a touchdown. Nice big run. 4 8 1. All right, here comes a Penn State tight end. Theo Johnson. He's a good player. They've got another one coming back to school, though. Charles, when you watch him, number 44, when you're watching Penn State, the other <laughs> tight end, he's pretty darn good, too, now. Kid did a nice job rising during this process. Senior Bowl week was a big week for him. Really got some notice, didn't he? Yeah, he's good. He's good after the catch. You'll see him. Uh, oh, he's got, he got, he got some pointers on there or something. What is that? Maybe it's the number of drills he's doing. What's happening? I've never, I've never seen that. I've either. never seen that before. Wonder if he's got a motivational phrase or two on. No, there. that looked like you know, like look like a like play sheet. Play sheet, yeah. <laughs> we gotta get Dale's on that. Yeah. Four six five. He might have run a four six flat if he didn't have that thing on his left arm. <laughs> well, maybe. Well it just done. Says, maybe it's just like uh, what did Eli say to himself when he was uh, Powers when he was getting ready to run? <laughs> Think fast, run fast, think fast, run fast. Is that what it says on there? No, that's the drills. Cat cow. Oh, that's his warm-up. That's his warm-up. Okay. You've right, got the wave, the wave roller. roller. You can roll oh, it out a little it. bit. Okay, there it is. A little quad stretch. I need that for my 40. That's not a bad that idea. That could help you out a little bit. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know that you're capable of a couple of those stretches. <laughs> Tanner McLaughlin. Oh, this is one of my favorites. I'm excited to see him. 6'5", 244 pounds. Let's see how he does here. Get going. That's a good time. He had a play. You know, we talk about these guys, you know, making plays, catching the ball, which he does. He'll work in the middle of the field. He can go high point the football. But, Charles, it was a play after an interception against UCLA where you see his, his all-out effort to go make the tackle. It tells you a little bit about a guy's competitiveness. It certainly does. Tip Ryman of Illinois. Yeah, and we've seen some of these. Look at the different body types. Yeah, 271 here, right? Yeah, Culp we saw at 231 just a minute ago. He's 40 pounds heavier, so all different shapes and sizes. Four six four. That's a that's great time at that size. Wow, Peter. Tip Ryman's interviewed really well. South Dakota kid, walk on, turn scholarship guy, tough big country strong and told from one of the teams that interviewed him he came in and he's like I will play special teams I want to play special teams get me involved on special teams I'm like I love that that's great 47 46 pardon me I don't want to shortchange him uh, on the top 50 prospects available your Daniel Jeremiah top 50 list number 46 is tight end 11 Jatavion Sanders he plays fast I'm curious to see how it translates here because that was some talk that I had heard that the the play speed that you see, he's not really a run the 40 guy. And that was with like Isaiah Likely that we saw last or a couple years, years last year. Yeah. There he is with Prime in his 
How about that? Truth, Truth football. Football era on his way to becoming head coach at Colorado. There he is. Coach Prime. And see, we'll see a couple Buffaloes here next year. I know that. And Senate. Kansas State, 468. That rhymes. Brevin Span Ford of Minnesota. As we're working our way through here. And Sinnott is, uh, again, one of the uh, guys that can do a lot of different things. You'll see him work down the, the hash. You'll see him as a wing. They'll give him shovel passes. Really, really tough, solid in-line blocker when he needs to be. Four seven six. 260 pounds. It's not a bad time. It's time for Cade Stover to run a 40. So the interesting with the numbers that have come through so far for him today was with, with Michael Mayer. Very similar numbers. Mayer ran a 4-7 flat 40. So we'll see how he stacks up against the former Notre Dame tight end, current Raider tight end. He's moving pretty good. All there you right. go. Mayer had a high quality rookie season. And I guess this is part of the uh, prep work for the combine. <laughs> that is a when big cow. Yeah, when you're working with cows. All done. Thank you for that video. That sled can unsee it. That sled would feel like a feather after that. <laughs> you ever told a coach, "Don't have a cow"? <laughs> I can run at it. And the Seminoles four six one at first is what he'll stand on. Two really good times. Low four sixes take that all day long. Holker just pops straight up a little bit. Get a little bit lower. He can go he's, even faster than that. He still got faster, though. Take it. Yep. By the way, Culp just rested on that 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> That's good. Up. We're good. run again, right? How about 4-5-8 for big Theo Johnson, 259 pounds, over 6'6". Six six. Tanner McLaughlin. He's whistled. So he's my, uh, my mid-round target here for a team looking for a tight end. Speaking of uh, Patriots, as Elliot Wolf's watching, did you see in that, you know, the new documentary, the Dynasty documentary? I haven't uh, seen on it Apple yet. TV, you should yep. check it out. Solid. Um, <laughs> Gronk tells the story of, you remember when he got drafted, the whole oh, yeah. family got up there on the Radio City stage and they started like doing like chest a, bumping like and, chest doing, bumping and yeah. doing like this sort of, you know, they, they were up there and they're up there for a while. Mm hmm. He said the phone rang. It was the Patriots calling and saying, you know, you're a Patriot when you get off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> and he said he hadn't been a Patriot more than five minutes. He was already gotten in trouble. The way he told the story is hilarious. And, of course, I mention it because Arizona Mc McLaughlin is following in the footsteps of being a tight end from Arizona. Those are big shoes, obviously. but That's a great time, though. 4-6-1, four, four, six, six, nicely done. That was just a funny story. Gronk telling it the only way he can. He's like, of course. Patriot, five minutes, I'm already in trouble. <laughs> and apparently, you know, uh, he fell asleep in a visit during the room, in the room during the visit, Belichick said, too. Yeah. It's a great doc. Here's I'll Tip Ryman. His size, and he is a mauler in the run game. Like, he gets after people. I mean, it's 4'6", 442. 271. The run game is his theater, Rich. Okay, there you go. I like it. Where is it, the auditorium? What's Kelsey's run time? What did he run here? I want to say Kelsey was in the four sixes. So he was? Jack How come we never show that video? Is that why he didn't run here? That's why. Four six one pro day. Yeah. Well, that's one way to never get simulcammed again. <laughs> 
See He's, Tavian Sanders. He got out, but then he just kind of stumbled at about the 10-yard line. Oh. So that's a 4-6-9. I think he's even faster than that with the stumble. Heck of a stumble. Peter? One of the things on Tip Ryman, and I, I guess I'm on the Tip Ryman beat right now. Yeah, look at you, man. <laughs> Empty the Tip Ryman uh, <laughs> notebook. We <laughs> asked these guys, tell me everything about Tip Ryman, and that's it for the night. I just want to know Tip Ryman facts. He could play fullback, too. Hey, uh, let me tell you who the Bears are going to take. Yeah, we'll get to that. Uh, <laughs> more on Tip. More Tip Ryman talk. Uh, he could play fullback, too. So I said the specials thing, but he's one of those guys, and now you see all these pieces, and whether it be – how they use Kittle in, in you know, San Francisco. He was in the backfield in some of those plays in the Super Bowl. But you look at this guy, and it's now versatile. It's not positionless player. He's a tight end. But when you could play H-back, you could play fullback, you could do a lot of things, and you could play special teams to become a very valuable guy. And now more on other players in the combine. Nice. Here's what's happening in the other neck of the woods. <laughs> ben Sinnott got a whistle. So he'll try a second shot of his second run here. And Brock Bowers is a top 10 talent. Decided not to conduct any on-field drills or workouts here. As you know, he had surgery on an ankle. That really took him out for the season in Georgia. So the eye in the sky that has been he's been starring in for quite some time. Oh, man. Mid-dip. They caught the coach mid-dip. Yeah, he's like, he got rid of that kid quick. See that? Oh, that was impressive. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the quickest Sorry, hands. Coach. Did you that see the, that? That was awesome. Yeah. Quick hands. That was Captain Comeback, <laughs> like, right there. Yep. Four, seven, nine. Looks like Stover is not going to do a second run here. Here's Jared Wiley. Four six two for Wiley again. Six foot six, two hundred and forty nine pounds. Mm. He plays with real speed too. Four six five. He's in in line tight end, and then he can really get down the seam. 